Okay, so here's the chromatic scale we've been doing across three strings. We're on the E string, string number six, index finger. Remember your thumb back here, don't want to see it, right behind your middle finger, behind string, sorry, fret number uh, six, thinking backwards. So here we go, we're going to do a fifth fret, then we're going to do sixth, seventh, and eighth, and then we're crossing to the, D, uh, the A string, it's a D note, going up four fingers, and then we're going to cross to the next string, string number four, and go up four notes, okay, and then we're going to come down those same four notes, cross strings with your pinky finger, string five, cross again to string six, and come back down. So here's the letter name starting on an A. Two, three, four. It's A, two, three, four. Add a finger. Add a finger to a B. Add a C. Go to a D, crossing strings there. D sharp. strength you have to get out there. So a B lowered is a B flat. This note right here has two names. Starting on a B flat coming backwards. Ready? Go. B flat. Down to an A. Down to an A flat. Down to the G crossing to a pinky finger on an F. takes care of this, middle finger takes care of the next fret, ring finger here or finger three, and finger four is there. That was the chromatic scale. If you don't want to play fours with me, you just want to go hold, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, hold while I pick the four notes. You can go back and do that. Okay? So there's the chromatic scale. Thank you.